thank you guys for uh, coming back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to make a realistic curtains um i was working on a, a, a project and uh, one of the subscribers was asking me how to make a quick and easy curtains um so i decided to make this tutorial so i'm gonna show you two ways one way is the one i use when i just wanted to make something real quick which i don't really like so much but uh, is useful sometimes and the second one i'm gonna show you is uh, how to make it a little bit more realistic all right so let's get started um first of all uh what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use curves to create that so what you need to do is you come to create you go to let me here right here and you click on cv curve tool i like to do it from the top view so what you need here is just just click um, randomly. This is the profile of the curtains, just to let you know. Okay. Um, so you press enter when you finish. Let's modify this a little bit. You right click and you go to vertex curve and you just adjust it a little bit the way you want it let's make this one maybe tighter these are the squeezes the yeah the the way that the curtains are uh, uh, come together like yeah like so um gonna do this one something like that so uh, this is good this okay so, I think something like this will be okay then what you need to, let's raise it up like this oh, sorry make sure you don't have any vertex selected just raise it up Actually, let me rotate, rotate it like this because let this be the front. Um, let's make it 180 degrees here. And then we just pull it up. I'm just going to freeze transformation so I'll get my the handle back to normal. So pull it up like that. Then we're going to duplicate it, Ctrl D, and you bring it down so what you need to do is you just select these two you go to surfaces and you loft it when you loft it you can see that is in reverse this is the front but i want this side to be the front actually if you don't mind you can just go to uh, lighting and uh, double sided so it can show but so this is what we have okay so now what we can do is actually let me remove that well to to reverse it you you can just go to curves here and you reverse directions and this one uh, reverse direction i just press g to repeat the command here so the both curves are reversed so now we have the back right here we have the front right here but if you don't want to this is the right way to make sure that you're working with the proper proper mesh or surface so you have to reverse it but a quick way of fixing it is just to like put on your double-sided lighting so the both side looks the same but i normally turn it off because it can give you trouble troubleshooting when you're having problems sometimes so so that's it now but now this one this this mesh we have here right now is uh, is uh, nerves we need to convert it to um, polygons so what we need to do is you where it's selected you go to modify and you go to convert where is it mm -hmm. convert right here uh, you click on the option right here so 
I normally choose this second one right here and uh, this one. So the, the number of V is from up to down and this, uh, sorry, U is up to down and this V is the, the uh, horizontal line. So you can give it, the more number you put here, the more resolution is you're gonna have. So I normally put like, this is like 50, 30. You just click and you close it. Now it has created a, uh, a polygon primitive right here. So now you can see this one, we have this one right here. Now, what you can do is just maybe close it right there. If you want to create that kind of um, um, a curtain that is, uh, how do I put it? How do I say that one? You just, the, the wrap or something, you can go to uh, the form and you create a lattice. So with this one, you can just make this one to three and you go click on this one and you can do it like that. And then you delete history. And then this can give you a quick kind of cutting, cutting kind of looks, but it's not really, um, it doesn't really look very nice, but it can help you add some time for something really quick. Okay. So let's do the other way that I, I normally use, which is using some kind of simulation, but don't worry. It's nothing really, it's not a big deal. So you just create uh, like a plane right there. Um, let's elongate it a little bit and increase the resolution to like 25. Um, yeah. Like so, and then what you need to do is just rotate it, make it 90 degrees, All right? And I think this looks okay. The more resolution you have, the better it's gonna look. But let's keep it this way because if you increase your resolutions too high, you might have problems with uh, your memories. So so what we need to do right now is let's freeze transformation uh, delete history you go to select it go to edit delete all by type history so i just have it here and freeze transformation which is which is also um you go to um think is modify and freeze transformation all right so now what we need to do next is let's create a little box. This one is fine. Just maybe give it a little bit of thickness. And uh, so press V on your keyboard. And then you make sure it's snapped here. So it snaps to this object. And then let's just increase it that way. Okay. This box is going to serve as our simulation handles. And then we're going to duplicate it, bring it here, press V and let's snap it right here in the middle. All right. And duplicate again, V and right here. Okay. So we are ready to go. Now what we need to do is I just want to bring this one down here. Okay, cool. So what we need to do is this one is we already for this transformation. This is this is very important because the simulation we're gonna do. If you if is if you don't have the if you don't freeze the transformation to remove all this uh, uh, to freeze it to zeros and one is not gonna work. Okay, so make sure that you select them. Select 
these ones and you go to modify phrase transformation okay just want to make sure they're all done and delete history good so now what we need to do is we have to switch from modeling toolkit to uh, FX the first thing we need to do is to convert this to to end cloud so you just select it go to end cloud and you create create end cloud now you can see it has created a nuclear and the uh, end cloud node right here so if you press your the play button right now you can see it's falling okay let's come back to this one so to make this look like a cloud like a curtain so what we need to do is to um constrain it to this to these boxes right here okay so now what we need to do is we select this one let's do this from the front view let me press four right here so i can see what we're doing you just select this vertex right here all right and then you click and drag to select this one you go to constraint you say constraint surface and you do the same right here you select that one and press g to repeat that command the last command and you do the same here select and g now this is selected is is done the next thing we need to do is let's check some attributes for this uh, our end cloud. you can see we don't see anything here if you don't see it you just need to load it right here so you need to go to like collision the, the thing we need to change here is the is this is this parameter right here I think um, I think this might be fine let's just leave it like that and let's go to dynamics and this bend resistant you can leave it 0 0.1 or if you want you can reduce it a little bit more maybe let's make it 0 0.05 something like that I think everything looks good here so what we need to do next is um, i think let's change this one from vertex face to full surface and now what we need to do is um, let's uncheck this so that it's always selected now what we need to do is let's give ourselves more room here let's say two five more playback uh, number here and then we go to um, fade and resolve and we use this uh, interactive playback okay so i probably will, yeah let's just click on it now you see it has started playing but what happened is it's not affecting this one but when you click on this one and you try to do it like this reduce it let's click on this one you can see is now forming some it's not giving us the 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 cutting thing effect you can just stretch it a little bit just adjust it the way you want to and let's do it one more time as you can see is giving us the real cutting effect that we want okay all right let's do it that way a little bit more and this one stretch it a little bit you see you can move it and it can give you the 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 curtains effect that you want to i think this one is looking good i think i like it this way all right you can do it like this so once you're done you can stop the playback and what you can do is you can just select this one 
you can duplicate it to get the the cash version of it so this will be our curtain so what you can do is you just create uh, you can create like the robe that they used to tie it here maybe you can use mm, you can use this, uh, whatever you want to let's try use create uh, what do you call it um, maybe this one you can bring it here pull it up okay and just take it right here and let's go to the attributes load it right here let's say increase the radius okay and then you can maybe reduce this one a little bit okay I think that will be good so what you can do is you can just squeeze it like this and then it's gonna start flattening this then you can actually maybe reduce the the subdivisions to like let's say eight so this way you can easily grab it like that one to make it match your um, let's do this from the yeah, no, from the top view so I think that would be better okay this is something you can not it's really important you can just just do it the way you want to and then you can press 3 and then it can give you some kind of a, you know what I mean maybe pull it out a little bit so yeah something like this and there you go you have a cotton okay Thank you for watching and if you have any question let me know and if this kind of things is something that you like please consider subscribing so it is gonna help the channel thank you for watching and i will see you again in the next video bye bye